And I have joining me lawyer Fasi Yusuf to talk more on the constitutionality of virtual court sittings. Good to have you join us, Fasi Yusuf. Now, let me start by quoting from the Constitution, um, section 36, um, subsection 1, um, which says that in the determination of his civil rights and obligations, including any question or determination by or against any government or authority, a person shall be entitled to a fair hearing within a reasonable time by a court or other tribunal established by law and constituted in such manner as to secure its independence and impartiality. So in the light of this, what do you make of the judgment coming from the Supreme Court that um, virtual sittings are not unconstitutional? Well, I think, uh, first of all, if you understand that uh, the Supreme Court said the action was uh, speculative and it was anticipated. And it ought not to be that. And besides, it, it, does not, it does not necessarily at that stage for the matter to come up. And that the heirs of uh, each court was in a position to determine how matters before them can be heard and can be treated. Number one, if the chief judge, I mean, hypothetically, of a Lagos State High Court or Federal High Court has given a directive or direction as to how sitting should be had or should be held. I think it is the duty of a judges under the chief judge to obey or to carry out the instruction of the chief judge. The same thing will apply to the appellate court. Let's say, for example, the, the court of appeal where the president can give a practice direction. And in the case of the Supreme Court too, which is the U.S. Court of the land, the Chief Justice of the Federation can give a practice direction. And that's what uh, the Supreme Court has said. And that uh, if the, that was why the two states, a legal state and a kid, had to withdraw their action. And the consequently, the, 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 the suit was uh, struck out. So if you want to go further, the, the National Assembly should be approached so that we can, they can amend the constitution. But for now, nobody has said that uh, it is not constitutional. So the action was seen to be speculative. All right, so the, the challenge that some lawyers have is the fact that um, we've seen judgments being upturned by higher courts for one reason or the other. And they say that because the National Assembly has it, it's still trying to review the 1999 constitution, and this has not been added to that constitution. And the fear that any verdict or any judgment given um, at vet virtual sittings can be upturned by any higher court. Yes, uh, you are right. You see, again, I mean, I also share that uh, same, uh, I mean, apprehension uh, because, uh, uh, for example, now when Lagos State was trying to bring that action, you remember that the Lagos State was doing a uh, virtual uh, court uh, sitting, but it wanted a situation where the APS court would be able to make a pronouncement on that. But the APS court, in its wisdom, has decided uh, to do what it did. And, uh, of course, you know, they may, like you, you know, the APS court is not invaluable. We all make mistakes, but in their own opinion, that's what they've seen and that's what they've said. And uh, there's no way you can appeal to if the Supreme Court has, uh, has given a, a ruling or a judgment on a particular matter. I, I share the same apprehension that uh, supposing a case has been decided and uh, only for an appeal to be filed, and one of the reasons for the appeal is that uh, it was due to virtual hearing and uh, it was unknown to the Constitution or it was known unknown to our legal distinct. But don't forget that we live in a dynamic world. Uh, the present situation calls for novelty. And I think uh, the Supreme Court is also dancing to that. And don't forget that also many of our courts, including the first court, they, they've been trying to encourage uh, going digital. And I think this is one of the areas. But I think, by and large, the Supreme Court has made a pronouncement and uh, there's nothing we can do. We need to follow the, the directive of the Supreme Court. Absolutely. We'll see how that plays out. Lawyer Fasi Yusuf, many thanks for talking to yeah. TVC News. Yeah.